right, all right. We are in the workroom for one of the last times. Let me see if I can. Uh... So we're in the workroom for one of the last times. And I say one of the last times, I only have one more time after this to come in here, which means tomorrow I have to get all of my stuff and bring it home, which means I have to figure out how I'm gonna carry a whole thing of lead home because I don't have a carrying case for it. Nonetheless though, today, we have I think some liver tumor mapping or technetium microaggregated albumin injection into the right hepatic artery. And then I'll do a taste or transarterial chemoembolization followed by I think like a liver biopsy or something. Nothing too crazy today. But hopefully everything goes smoothly because I'm just trying to coast for the next two days. Alright, so first and foremost, let's get the MAA because nobody does that for me. Radioactive material acquired. It's actually pretty heavy. Do some bicep curls with it, work out a little bit. All good. What's up, bro? Oh, hey. I don't know where to put the MA in here. So, one case down, MA, now it's time for some breakfast. All right, so we have two cases under our belt now, and you can tell that I'm just in a good mood, and that's because A, I'm almost done with fellowship, but B, because I'm working with Tim, who you may have seen on one of my prior videos way back in the beginning of this year. We worked together on a big prostate embolization for the transarterial radio embolization something treat program that we put on here. And uh, he was one of the residents I worked with. But anyways, we did two cases. Now we did a Y90 mapping followed by an actual Y90. And he did pretty much the whole case. And I was just kind of like standing there supervising. So it's pretty legit. It's almost like I'm an attending now. Almost. I guess technically I'll be attending at the end of June, but I'm done here in like a day or so. So am I attending now? Am I attending then? I don't know. Either way, I could get used to this. All right, so I didn't film anything yesterday evening because I ended up having drinks with my co-fellows. Just talked about some things, talked about how... Oh, that's loud. We just talked about a few things, talked about how happy we are to be done with all of this. And the best part about today is today is officially my last day here. And I have a duffel bag within my backpack where I'm going to carry my lead, all my stuff that was in the locker, all that good stuff. So uh, this is it. I think we have a lot of bread and butter cases today. So it's a good way to end the fellowship. Guys, I officially did it. I am no longer in medical training. Okay, so the only problem so far, well, first off, I'm happy I'm done with fellowship in all of my medical training, which means the next step for me is an attending, but I'm not excited that I have to carry all of my extremely heavy lead. I don't know how many blocks. I was supposed to carry this like 20 blocks and it's so heavy. I thought it was gonna be lighter than this, but I don't realize how much it weighs when I have it on. But now that it's over my shoulder, it's way heavier than I anticipated. So I'm gonna get in the taxi, tell you how I feel when I go home. All right, so yesterday got a little hectic uh, it was my last day in the hospital, so I came home, celebrated, all that good stuff, so I didn't really have a time to finish the video, per se. But, yes, I am extremely happy to finally be done with all this training. It's been 14 years after high school, four years of med school, six, no wait, four years college, four years med school, six years of residency, including my fellowship training, 14 years. And here I am, finally done. It hasn't really sunk in yet, but I think I'm pretty excited. I just don't know for sure yet. Well, I know I'm excited, but it just hasn't sunk in. So yeah, it won't sink in probably for like another month until I move and start that job and all that good stuff, but super pumped about it. A lot of people have been asking me 
One, am I ready to be an attending? I think the answer is yes. I think I've been ready for probably the past couple of months. Obviously, there's going to be some growing pains and some initial anxiety when I'm going to be the only one making all the decisions and everything falls on me instead of my attending because I'm used to that being in training so long. But I think I'm ready and you know, I'm ready to do things my way, have my own patients, take care of my own patients, and you know, build a practice. So I'm excited about that. And then the other question I get is, what's the other question I get? The other question people ask me is, am I going to miss it? And the answer to that is a huge no, because this training has been brutal. I'm so ready to be done with it, I can't even describe it to you. And then, what was I gonna say? Final question people ask me is, do I think all of this training has prepared me to be where I am today? And I think the answer to that is, yeah. I mean, you can never have too much training. I think any physician would tell you that, but you try to be trained as much as possible and prepare yourself for any situation that could arise, but there's just no amount of training that would make you see everything. There's always going to be something new, even as a new attending, I'll see something I've never seen before and try to manage something I've never managed before or would never taught how to manage. It's just the way medicine is. You're going to encounter something you've never seen before as long as you're practicing. So yeah, I think it prepared me enough and the rest you'll kind of just learn on the job. Everybody always says it takes about 10 years to feel comfortable as a practicing attending interventional radiologist and I feel like that's the case. So I am super excited to see what the next chapter holds for me. Is that my phone? Yeah. No. So yeah, super pumped with where I'm at. I'm happy to be going forward and advancing my career and becoming an attending physician now. And I'm even more so excited because I had such a great day yesterday. I got to end with a nice smattering of bread and butter cases. Ended my last day doing an abscess drain, which I honestly didn't do much of this year. I did a lot of that the four years prior, but yeah, ended up nicely. I had a very nice patient who talked to me the whole time we were doing it. Great conversation, great patient. I even worked with a med student that whole day, so I got to teach them a lot. Fantastic last day. I couldn't have asked for anything better. So here we are, on to the next chapter in our lives, and obviously I'll keep you along for the ride. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. As always, smash the like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already, and I'll see you all on the next video.